Abigail and Chris were living in their dream family home, but the devastating news that Abigail had a debilitating illness meant they urgently needed to make alterations. The kitchen was dark and awkward for Abigail to move around in. They desperately needed a practical space where they could all be together as a family, which would also work for Abigail if she should ever need a wheelchair. Abigail and Christian realised that they needed to extend and replace the old lean-to. With initial quotes more than double their budget of just £17,000, Christian opted to do all the hard work himself. Embracing Piers' idea of a light-filled extension that fits into the local environment, this build has tested them to their limits. It's just 11 weeks since they started the ambitious transformation of their home, and Piers and I are back to see how they've got on. Hello. Hello, Hello. how are you? Guys? Good. Long time no see. Yeah. How are you? Nice to see you. Good. So, how's it all been going? Oh, very well. We're exhausted, but um, we're so glad it's finished and it's fantastic. Yeah. You're finished then? Yeah, you don't look covered in no, just brick dust. No, just little bits of paint. So, we can't wait to see what you've done. Will you let us take a look? Yeah, come yeah, and have come a look. Come and see. Wow. Look at this. Oh, it's absolutely extraordinary. Look at that. I mean, it's a real, it's really a piece of contemporary architecture on the back of your house, I must say. It really looks like it belongs, though. It's a really contemporary thing, but actually totally appropriate for this context. And it's a building that is very similar to those farm buildings yeah. that we looked at mm. a few months back. And I just love the way it gives you this kind of completely usable, beautifully proportioned space outside, yeah. as well as obviously what's going to be a fantastic space inside. I mean, that's, that's exactly what good architecture should do, isn't it? I mean, you must be really thrilled. We are. We absolutely love it, don't we? Oh, it's over the moon. Just can't believe how good it's turned out. Wow, well, it is just so light and airy in here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's an amazing feeling, isn't it? It is, it's lovely. This, this volume just feels really good. I think that's right. I think this is really lofty, which is what I like about it. It has real character, and it's kind of a quirky character. You know, it's unusual, mm -hmm. and you know, I really like the generosity of that corner window, and I like the fact that it encourages you to sit and linger in it. I like these glimpsed views you get through these windows that are placed over this corner. This is a gloomy day, and this is really, you know, it's, it's a delight to be in. It doesn't feel dark. I mean, these windows aren't the cheapest in the world. I mean, they're, they're absolutely beautiful, but how much did they cost? The windows themselves cost around about £5,000. Windows and doors all in, but that's, they're aluminium. The top end glass, and the reason we're able to afford that is because of the other things saving money. I very much like how you've used unfinished materials that lots of people would ordinarily think you need to cover up, but mm. that's been a bit of a struggle, hasn't it? I mean, just trying to convince people that it's okay to have concrete on the floor and plywood on the walls. Everybody, everybody I think that we've spoken to has said, You can't use that. Why are you using the cheapest ply? But it looks lovely. Mm. But what's also great about these materials, like plywood, is they're things that you can do yourself, whereas plaster is a tricky thing that you need years of skill. And here, you can do this yourself, and it's cheap, it's simple, and it's easy. Tell me the difference that this makes for family life around the, around the house. Well, the main thing was to have everybody in one room, really, so that if, we're not, if I'm not well and Chris is having to do more, we can, I can still be in here with him, sat at the table or sat in the window, or yeah, and the children can still be in the room with us. So, yeah. And it's also, once we level off the outside, it'll be level access if I ever do have to go in a wheelchair and I can see out of the window yeah, yeah. from a chair. Yeah, so it's but it al perfect. already seems like the whole space flows so much better well, in general. You can see more from the front door, you can see straight out this window, yeah. which is what we really wanted, didn't we? So, so you had £17,000 plus a bit of contingency to build this. Have you managed to pull it off for that money? Um, we've use the contingency as well. But in total, this is about, about 20,000 About 20,000 pounds, we've managed to, to do the lot. I think it's an amazing achievement for 20,000 pounds. I don't know about you, Piers, but per square metre, this must be one of the best value buildings I could imagine. This is less than 1,000 pounds a square metre, and you've got something that's beautiful, inspiring, and truly unique for that money. 